What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and the Days of Summer event for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is coming up very very soon here. We're kind of going to be taking a break from the Modern Warfare craziness and shifting over to Black Ops 4 for a little bit on the channel here because Days of Summer is one of the events I look forward to the most in Call of Duty. So today I'd like to speak on some of the stuff that we should start to see when the event does go live next week on June the 4th. So first off here, Treyarch updated their profile picture over on Twitter to show off a grill with a hamburger, red solo cup, and some other typical summer celebration party items. Now some people were thinking that this image is a teaser for the map Raid coming to multiplayer, which was a previous fan favorite back in Black Ops 2, but unfortunately I really just think that this is a teaser for a redesign of Raid on Blackout. Very similar to how the Blackout map was redesigned with Christmas themed items like snowballs, lights, Christmas trees, etc. Maybe there's going to be something special like some hidden items in game like the Leprechaun from Shamrock and All. You know, something similar in that regard. Or maybe the barbecue grill could contain like a bunch of paint cans and really good loot items to find when you open one. I don't know. But again, as much as I'd like to see Raid return in multiplayer, I just really think this image is a teaser for the summer map update for Blackout. I do think multiplayer will be getting new maps for the event, so don't think you guys are going to be left without anything. And I'm fairly certain that Treyarch will be changing their profile pictures and tweeting some teasers for the Days of Summer event with multiplayer related items. But in terms of actual content we're going to be getting, if we go back to the little roadmap that was first introduced during Operation Spectre Rising, in Blackout we're going to be getting Ground War which is a team of 50 versus another team of 50 battle royale style. We're also going to be getting a new vehicle which is the attack helicopter and I assume it's basically like the regular helicopter but with a mounted machine gun turret. This really has me excited because I love the ARAV and driving around with my team gunning other teams down Except the ARAV is very vulnerable to mesh mines and cluster grenades, so we don't really use the ARAV as much anymore, but with the attack helicopter, I feel it can be extremely useful and very deadly. Like, also, imagine an attack helicopter dogfight in the air. That sounds freaking cool and a whole lot of fun for sure. Um, we're also going to be getting new weapons, new equipment, and more. But speaking of new weapons, over on the Black Ops 4 subreddit, a user posted this image which was a list of snipers on the Call of Duty phone application and we can see a few new snipers that are not yet in the game yet and they are the Bakenko, the Righteous Fury, the It's Lit, and the Desolate Regulator. So. Um, like I said, these weapons are not yet in the game. I do think we should see maybe two, three at most of these snipers for the Days of Summer event. I don't think um, we're going to be getting them all, like I said. But a lot of people have been asking for new snipers, so yeah, I believe it's the only class weapon that has not yet had a new one come via Black Ops tiers. So more snipers are on the way, and I'm sure we could even see a new assault rifle or a submachine gun for sure. Maybe even a couple melee weapons like the Ballistic Knife which we saw in the Spectre Rising trailer. Now another weapon that was leaked out because of the Call of Duty app glitching out was the S6 Stingray which falls under the Tactical Rifle category. Um, but in general, hopefully we get some really good fun weapons to use during the Days of Summer event. And adding on to that, more characters are on the way like Sergei and David Mason. But knowing how Treyarch has been, I guess, performing recently, I'm almost positive that these uh, two characters, at least one, if not both, will be obtainable by dropping COD points. Like, that that's just how Treyarch has been um, acting recently, so uh, it's whatever, honestly, but we should see more characters. Of course, we should see more skins like this pirate skin for profit that a user on Reddit was able to view because his game glitched out. And I will link down below to a Twitter user named Josh Wu Cool, who's a data miner, and he found a new death effect, which looks like the loading screen on Blackout with the numbers and Black Crows flying. So when you kill someone, that's the effect that's going to happen. Along with a few weapon charms, some more skins for the specialist characters, parachutes, and more. So again, I will link his Twitter down below if you guys want to check that stuff out. Obviously, I cannot post them in the video because it's content that's not yet in the game. Um, but moving on to the multiplayer side of things, we are going to be getting some new game modes like Capture the Flag, new Bare Bones modes, and a map variant for Hacienda called Hacienda Twilight, which I guess is like a nighttime theme version of Hacienda. Um, but yeah, in general guys, if you ask me, I I'm really not too pumped for the multiplayer content. I don't know, it just does not really excite me like Blackout Battle Royale does. 
that's just my thoughts, guys. I, I'm not hating on multiplayer at all because I do really enjoy playing it. But Blackout right now just has me hooked, and I love the Battle Royale uh, game, game mode style of uh, Call of Duty. So that is what it is. Again, not hating on multiplayer, but it just does not really excite me. I mean, the new weapons for sure sound fun, possibly some new maps, but Blackout, like the new map themes, the new game modes, all of that sounds so much more cool and fun to me. Um, but that's just my thoughts, guys. Again, the Days of Summer event is going to take place on June the 4th, which is just in a few days here. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments about all this. Plus, what are you most excited for? And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I love you all so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.